Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean. And today we gotta go over Doja Cat's Bitch, I'm a Cow. We're talking what made that song a viral sensation and the secret sauce to help it blow up. Now, this song was uploaded as audio originally, but then it was taken down and put back up so they could change the guitar riff for copyright reasons to my knowledge. But when I originally heard of it, the video was already out. I got a text from one of my homegirls and I was like, Doja Cat, what does she know about Doja Cat? She don't know nothing about Doja Cat. And then when I clicked on the link, of course, I saw the video. Now it's five main things that really helped that video go viral. Number one is just the outlandish absurdity of that song's concept in the first place. Bitch, I'm a cow is a hell of a title. Two is once you click on the video and start to watch, you immediately see these visuals and it's just playing on like the anime type theme. It has a whole vibe to it. Not only are the visuals kind of funny because it just brings you in in a troll like fashion. Number three, the, the visuals are kind of enticing. It was kind of essential in a way that I really hadn't seen Doja Cat be more sensual in her videos before. It was weird how they were kind of playing up that sensual vibe along with the cow costume. It just had me all confused on the inside. Like, what's going on? I didn't know I had a thing for twerking cows. Number four, that thing was catchy. Once you get caught up by the title, the title brings you into the visuals. And then you start to notice that she's all scantily dressed and whatnot. And next thing you know, you're at the first chorus. Bitch, I'm a cow, go move. that thing is pretty catchy and by the time you hit that catchy chorus and you vibe out to it a little bit because it is a vibe it's not try hard you might listen to it again and start to realize yo she's kind of saying some things every once in a while she goes off for a line or two and that was the x factor in all of this because it was a good song in its own way so I know a lot of people think you could just make any kind of wild concept of a video and go viral, but that is not true. We all know it, even though we like to lazily just say that's all they did to go viral. What helped this video go viral from a content standpoint is the fact that it was remarkable. Yes, there's great videos that go viral and there's trash videos that go viral, whether it's comedy, skits, music, whatever you see on the internet, but there's also a lot of good stuff that doesn't go viral and a lot of trash that never sees the light of day past one or two viewers. Being remarkable is something worth sharing. The internet and social media is built on the idea and concept of sharing, being able to spread quickly. If the girl who sent me the video watched it but never decided to share with me because she didn't think it was worth talking about, I never would have saw it. And that same thing happened over and over again, but it didn't have to if the content wasn't remarkable. If you guys want more detail on that concept, you can watch my video on what makes remarkable content or examples of it in the description below. But let's get into the secret sauce that Doja Cat had to help this video blow up. The secret is of the secret sauce is the fact that she had a fan base already. Doja Cat was already relatively established. So what that meant is she had, let's say, 250,000 subscribers on her YouTube page. I'm making that number up, but she did have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. When she drops her music, you already have a group of people who are waiting to hear what you put out. That's different than having a potentially piece of viral content that you then have to go take and find people to listen to it. You have to find platforms to get it placed on. That's a grind and it can be done, have done it before, and I know people who do it all the time. When you have something that's worth sharing and you already have an audience that already sees you as worth listening to in the first place, it gets you there so much quicker. So those of you who are already further along and building a fan base, even if it's not 100,000, but you might have about 30,000 fans or you might have 10,000 subscribers on YouTube You're at a point where you can start thinking about little things that'll help you get outside of your initial reach of your audience because as Doja Cat said in that video clip that's what she had thought about before even though she didn't do this intentionally in this case she did recognize it as something that could be done but this is when it gets really good the fact that she already had great music out there allowed her to gain a lot of new fans once Bitch I'm a Cow blew up because it brought in so many new eyes to her and these people said, let me check this person out. A lot of people said they thought she was a YouTuber. As a matter of fact, I'll read some comments off. 
Lick My Fashion said, it's crazy that it took that Moo song for me to notice her. I'm so disappointed in myself. She's absolutely amazing. I downloaded all her stuff on my phone. She's about to be on repeat for a while. Jamboree said, I just recently discovered her and I'm kind of obsessed now. No shame. Under the video for Doja Cat So High, Zachary Todd said, OMG, I was obsessed with this song in high school when I was in a bad place and I never was able to find the song again and I just did again because of Moo. And it's so nostalgic to me, OMFG. So these are old fans that were able to rediscover her because of her new song going viral. Joshua Jones said, did Moo bring anybody else here? There's 6.2 thousand likes on it. And this is under another one of her videos. Under another one of her songs, somebody said, hold up, she makes good music, WTF? Because a lot of people expected her to just be a YouTuber who did a whole bunch of random songs, just viral, spammy type stuff, but when you go and you say, yo, this chick is super dope. She looks incredibly different every time you see her in different videos, but she's super dope. She brought in a new audience. Now, if she didn't have this music established, that Moose song would have blew up, went viral. She would have been stuck in that image and would have had to follow it up or just probably would have fell to the wayside, didn't get any new fans out of the situation. But now she has two great things. She has a lot of new fans that now understand how dope she is, but also she has a viral song that's probably gonna be one of the greatest inspirations for Halloween this year. You can't tell me somebody's not gonna have a cow costume on this Halloween saying, bitch, I'm a cow in a sign or just written on them. But that's neither here nor there. I would love to know what you guys think about this song, this video, the whole situation. I know you guys have been asking me to do this video for a while. Finally got around to it. And also, before I forget, if you want to have ask me any questions, then you know I'm answering questions on Instagram on Sundays for the rest of 2018. So follow me at Brandman Sean. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.